the hell is Israel's problem at this point? As far as I understand, they they wage war supposedly because Palestine provoked. How the hell did it come to them attacking Iran and Lebanon? It, look, it, what they say, the reason that they're doing all these things, Keanu, is is not what why they're doing all these things, right? Basically, think about it as a cancer in your body. What's the ultimate person? Per, uh, a purpose of cancer the ultimate purpose of cancer is to spread that's what zionists are right especially zionist in israel in the middle in, in in the whole one of the holiest places in the world right they transplanted zionism in the land of palestine right in the middle east so the united states can have an unsinkable aircraft carrier right and create chaos there turmoil there why because there's lots of resources as the saying goes or all, all wars are resource wars so all this poop that is coming out of zionist israel and the united states that they're defending themselves this bullshit this bullshit this bullshit, that's all bs that's all lies their ultimate agenda is to genocide that region and obtain control over the great great uh, over the greater israel which is called the levant so look up greater israel levant and there's israeli sh soldiers idf soldiers walking around with patches on their shoulders showing the land that they're planning on conquering right and the only way they'll be able to plan they'll be able to conquer this land is if they genocide continue their genocide and if the western world continues to support it now the western world is in demise it's collapsing economically right look at what's going on in north carolina with the floods with the hurricanes there uh what's coming look at what happened in hawaii look at what's what happened with flint michigan like the western in the united states and canada as well right we're we're collapsing we saw our peak in the 90s western world peaked in the 90s and since the turn of the century western standard of living has been decreasing and accelerating in its demise right and tyrannical laws come into play and all that jazz right if you lived through the 90s you know what it was like right if you didn't i'm sorry that you didn't it was pretty good damn time right if you lived in the western world if you lived in russia it was a shithole right it was totally controlled by wall street and they annihilated russia hence gave rise to putin right but we're we're on the downturn right now if israel was doing this stuff in the 90s where the united states were powerful as Africa, like super powerful europe was super powerful all this stuff and russia was nothing then israel might have had a chance to acquire the levant they do not have the chance to acquire the levant anymore in the mid 2000s i wrote a piece where uh one of the one of the reasons Israel stated that they're continuously bombing areas in Syria and Lebanon and still attacking Palestinians, genociding them, building settlements, was that they were going to attack any external force that had the means to fire rockets into Israel, right? So their excuse for bombing Lebanon, Syria, uh, you know, grabbing more land in palestine and gaza uh, settlements and all this jazz was because technology they were fighting against technology that they were going to go as far as the longest range missile that let's call them the resistance at the time had and i wrote an article at that time or a blog post at that time that's saying that this is a this is this, this is a fool's errand fool's game because technology no matter how you look at it how you splice it at some point whatever you have it's going to go into the hands of the other people your adversary so the range of the rockets that the resistance if you want to call them we can call them the indigenous population are using or were using to attack israel the range was just going to increase to a point where you know people and countries from Europe and Iran and Pakistan and all these different regions would be able to send rockets into Israel. So is Israel going to blow up the world? 
when someone, a country from across the globe, can now send a missile to Israel? That it, it, it was low IQ what they were saying, right? It was just an excuse that they were using to genocide more and more and more and more, right? That's what it is. So don't believe anything that Israel is saying. You know, they're fighting against, you know, they're genociding Gaza because October 7th. Anybody that believes that is an idiot. He's a total idiot, right? Larkbark, Israel has a strong uh, uh, stranglehold on the U.S. Has a stranglehold on the U.S., yeah. It's, but there, there are people, institutions in the United States that are also using Israel, right? They're in cahoots together. Neocons, by all means, born again Christians? Hell yeah, look at these idiots. That's what the neocons are thinking. Look at the Zionist fanatics. Yeah, you guys will, okay, go on, we'll fund you, right? Because neocons, they're only, they're only, uh, they're all, they, the only tool in, that's it.